the first to bring you the hottest DJ gear on the planet. We are AGIProDJ.com. Hey everybody, it's Rick coming at you with a brand new product that Sure has. Um, it's a directional active antenna. This is called the UA874US. Some people refer to it as a shark fin or a paddle, and it's just a way to take UHF frequencies and amplify that to an ultimate receiver in the chain of a, of a UHF wireless microphone system. I'm actually on site at a wedding that's starting in a couple hours and um, this is my first opportunity to check out this brand new shark fin. If you spin the camera around you're going to see why we are using this. Um, down at the gazebo, that's where a ceremony is happening. In the past, you've got a couple options. One option is you could run a secondary sound system down there and then when the ceremony is over and there's a transition to the reception, you can tear down, break down that system, wrap cords around and just get in people's way. The other option is to run everything from a reception location where I'm at right now, but then you've got to run cables all the way around to the ceremony area. It takes about 200 feet of XLR cable. A lot of DJs watch my channel and they would say, why would you ever use a product like this? Basically what it can do is it will receive frequencies from a transmitter that an efficient or uh, a groom might have on their person and it will be received at the reception location. Basically this takes a, a frequency that's coming from a long distance away and amplifies it and makes the signal stronger at the receiver level. So. The cool thing about this particular product, now that we've covered why you would use it, is compared to its predecessor, which was the UA870 US TV, that product was great and it served its purpose well for what it was at the time, but you had to remove each of these four screws if you wanted to make an adjustment on the ultimate gain that you wanted. Uh, the 870 US TV had a choice of plus 3 dB or plus 10 and if you wanted to adjust it, like I said, you have to take the cap off, which isn't exactly hard to do, but it's also not exactly an on-the-fly kind of adjustment that you can make. This particular shark fin gives you the choice of plus 12 dB, plus 6 dB, 0 dB, and minus 6 dB. And a little bit later in this video, when I have these set up, we're going we're gonna to cut to why this is important, why it matters, why this is such a great feature to have on a shark fin like this. We're also going to touch on the cabling options available that uh, Shure has as well. So let's get these uh, hooked up and I'll show you how it works, why it works, and why it's so cool. Alright, so I want to talk a little bit about the cables that you can choose for the antenna solutions when you run from a shark fin to the receiver. Uh, when I first started using these systems, I actually made my cables from scratch. There are pros and cons to doing that. Um, I was kind of a cheapskate about it. There are products that Sure makes for these applications, but I chose to use regular coax cable and crimped BMC connectors on, and that works initially, but over time, the more you use this stuff, the, the more those connectors start to pull off, and it just becomes kind of a pain. I have a couple of different cable options when I do these runs. Uh, this is a Sure UA825. The A25 designates um, that this is an RG8 cable and it's a 25 footer. There's one that's not pictured here called the UA850 which is a 50 foot and then this big old beast down here is a UA8100. I finally got a pair of these and uh, this is a 100 footer. It's an RG213. Is it expensive? Um, heck yeah. <laughs> but the reason you would use this is for a long run. If you look up at the shark fins you can see they've only got about 20 feet to go into the receivers. We're going to show the receivers here in a minute. But that distance is fairly short. That's what makes the UA874 so remarkable is you can dial in the actual gain that you want. So for a long cable run, UA8100 is the cable of choice to do that kind of application. And then for the shorter runs, you can use a 25 footer. They even make a six footer, which I don't have here to show you, but that would be for a situation where you are literally going to go six feet from a shark fin into your receiver. Uh, and now let's go back and talk a little bit about the shark fin and how you can adjust it and why that matters. So check it out. So now we've got power supplied from my receivers. I've got some UHFR uh, receivers that provide a 12 volt bias power supply. That's what powers the shark fins. 
And now, this is a 25 foot cable run that I just uh, showed in the video. That's a relatively short distance, and I've got it set for 0 dB, which is probably going to be just fine. You can see that um, little LED indicator lights up here. You could do a plus 6 dB if you wanted to, and a plus 12 dB. And again, the higher up you go in the RF gain would correspond to the length of your cable or the resistance of the cable that you're using in the system. The beauty in this shark fin is you can dial it down, you can attenuate it down to minus 6 dB if you wanted to use just a 3 or 6 foot cable to go from this shark fin right into a receiver so you don't over modulate it. Genius. I mean this is, this is the evolution of wireless technology. Um, so anyway this is the, the UA874 US. I would say that a lot of DJs that watch my videos say, why would you ever use something like this? This is completely overkill, but this is hands down the best investment I have ever made in my entire wireless microphone system. The farther away I have to broadcast, the more my confidence actually goes up. These things flat out work. They provide a solution not only for my use and my ease. It's not always about you know laziness and not wanting to do the work. It's a matter of pulling off a great event for a client. And for guys that are doing weddings, live sound, corporate events. Um, and I'll give you a great example as I wrap this up. I did a wedding a couple years back before I had this system in place. I did a sound check with the officiant. An hour before the ceremony, sounded great. I had good RF signal during the ceremony. When I didn't have these as part of the system, all the guests stood up to welcome the bride down the aisle. And they never sat back down. Dropouts like crazy. And it's the worst feeling in the world. If it happens at some other event, it's going to happen. But if it happens at a wedding, it's a sinking feeling. Anytime you have a wedding, for instance, where that distance or line of sight is going to be an issue, these things are going to help raise your confidence and raise the overall effectiveness of your sound system. The other quick thing I want to just cut to real quick is what happens between the difference of using the shark fin and using regular half wave antennas. So I'm going to fade into a different segment and we're going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so I'm now at the receiver end of the signal chain and I'm going to show you the difference between why you would use a shark fin antenna like these and why you wouldn't. And if you get a chance um, to kill some time, go and watch a video that I shot a couple years ago that is for the UA870 US TV. At an actual wedding, you get a chance to listen to an officiant who did a sound check with the shark fins and without it. Go and watch that. It's pretty striking. But we're going to kind of show you a little bit of, of what happens when you use the shark fins. Right now, I've got a UR1 body pack transmitter, um, just like this. It's turned on and it's down at the ceremony, which if I ran cable, that's 200 feet of XLR cable away. So I've got a transmitter sitting right on the floor of the gazebo. Right now I've just got the half waves, the regular half wave antennas are hooked up to a UA845. Here's the signal level of that transmitter. As I step away from it, you get a little bit more RF activity. It's, it's bouncing around. Many guys would probably assume that well, gosh, I've got a good signal there. But when you get 150 bodies at the ceremony, you're going to lose it. I guarantee you're going to lose it. Watch what happens now just in signal strength when I replace half waves with the shark fins. So we're going to switch this out with the shark fins and watch what those LEDs do now. It's, uh, it's darn near 100% and I guarantee you that for every additional dot I see here, my confidence uh, goes up another 10%. Uh, this is a system that actually flat out performs. It makes you look like a professional. It allows you to provide a service to your clients that other people may or may not be able to do. Um, and then we can also, as we talked about, adjust the gain on the shark fin um, 874 US to match the, the type of cable that you're using. So the whole system really is, is exactly what it's intended to be. You've got a great shark fin paddle, we've got the right cable, and we've got great signal strength. As guests file in here, you know, 150 to 200 people, there's no doubt that these signals are going to drop. I mean, that's just the nature of how wireless works. The human body acts as an absorber and a refractor.
of UHF frequencies. So we've done as much as we can do to ensure that this is going to be perfect. I appreciate you watching. Um, I'm going to include some links to more information, more information about these products, where you can find them, um, how they work, pricing, all that stuff. If you want to place an order uh, for them, I'll put links where you can do that as well. So thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out, and uh, good luck out there.